Bill, what legal grounds or reasons might justify requesting supervised visitations for a spouse and ex-spouse? We're seeing that more and more, Dean. We're, the most common context that we see a request for supervised visitation is in the realm of the domestic violence restraining order. This is another area that we're seeing more and more in front of the courts. The courts have seen a substantial increase in this. At the same time, the legislature has lowered the requirements for what a domestic violence restraining order includes. Less and less behavior is required. And so we often see domestic violence restraining orders accompanied by requests for supervised visitation. Uh, this yeah. is, is very common. The courts are, are required to look at that. There's actually boxes within the request for domestic violence restraining order requesting supervised visitation. Supervised visitation is a very important step. It's usually looking at what is in the best interest of the child. The court will look at health, safety, welfare, and takes domestic violence very seriously. But there are other situations that the court will order domestic restraining orders as well as supervised visitation. Supervised visitation does not have to include requests for a domestic violence restraining order, although that's the most common situation. There could be other situations where there's maybe a dangerous situation. Uh, another parent may have a drug or alcohol addiction. There may be situations, um, a family member on the other parent's side that, that makes it dangerous and that the parent is not showing good discretion. So okay. it's a very important situation. We see it quite often and, and we have other professionals we work with to, to facilitate this and provide excellent results for our clients.